Dummies, New Mexico State Aggies on top of Fresno State, 13 to 8. New Mexico State will have to kick the ball off to Fresno State. Well, the one remaining Division 1A unbeaten team, the Hawaii Warriors, they're taking on the Washington Huskies of the Pac-10 tomorrow in a game that you can find on ESPN2. If they win that game, they will have run the table and gone 12 and 0 and more than likely go to a BCS Bowl game if they finish in the top 12 of the BCS standings. And June Jones, the head coach for Hawaii, is, is going to join us for a couple of moments. Coach, thanks for taking time out and joining us. Yeah, my pleasure, my pleasure. Here's the kick. And the ball is going to skip in the end zone. And Fresno State will take it at the 20. All right, Coach, right out of the box, I want to ask you a question. It's been so difficult, you'd imagine, to try and get you guys ready to go for tomorrow's game against Washington after what a, was a huge win last week at home against Boise State. Have you had to do anything different to make sure that everyone's on the same page? No, our kids have stayed really focused all year, uh, and I'm, I expect nothing different but them to be focused on just one game at a time, and Washington's the next game. And You know, it doesn't hurt that Washington uh, is probably the best team we've played, and I think the kids realize that when they're looking at the tapes. and. You know, it's very difficult to, to run the table, as anybody in coaching knows, but it's been kind of an a amazing uh, time just watching these guys uh, do it every week to stay focused and not look past anybody. Grant Stater throws on first down. His pass is tipped in the air and dropped. It'll be second down and 10. June, I, I don't think many people understand much at all about your system and how, why it is so much different. You've taken me on the practice field and even in the warm-ups before a game and you've shown me how many times your quarterbacks throw the ball. Talk about the reps. Just just give us a once-over lightly on why the system works so well. Well, it's, uh, it is a, a rep system and we, we, uh, we probably throw more in a week of practice than, than uh, most quarterbacks probably do in a month. In fact, if you come and watch our quarterbacks go through just uh, two hours before the game, they might throw 300 passes or 250 balls before they even go to the game. Our kids are uh, very plugged in to, to catching the ball in their hands, and, and uh, you know we demand uh, that type of uh, excellence, and, and the kids have bought into it, and they, they, they believe. Colt Brennan, we're taking a look at some of his numbers this year. You've had him for a number of years now. When did you first realize that he had a chance to be really special? <laughs> well, uh, 2005 year, he was leading the nation in passing, and I can't remember how many touchdowns he threw that year, completing 65% of his passes. And I, I were going into the last game against San Diego State, and I made a statement that, here, this kid doesn't really have a clue what we're doing, and, and he's leading the country. And I said, when he figures it out, uh, he's going to be something. And that day against San Diego State, uh, they had played Ohio State at Ohio State and had, were up 10 to nothing, and they had a very good defensive team. And uh, Colt, uh, I could tell the light came on that day, so I was looking forward to the next couple of years. When the light comes on, what do you expect? You know, a June Jones quarterback, when the light comes on, what does that mean? I've seen it, but a lot of people haven't. Well, we're, we're, my reference to that was I, I, I realized that he finally was going through his progressions and he knew exactly, you know, what to do in our offense. And once you have an arm like him, he's accurate, he's got a quick release. I think the accuracy being the most important thing in a quarterback that once you understand where to, to deliver the ball in the system we have, you're, you're, it's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty effective. It becomes like an intuitive thing instead of having to think through the progression. Exactly. In fact, we, 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 call, we call it uh, being able to do it with unconscious confidence, uh, not being able to think but just react. Coach, obviously you guys need to run the table. You need to win tomorrow against Washington. You need to finish in the top 12 of the BCS standings to go to a BCS bowl game. Is there any doubt in your mind that if you win tomorrow, you will finish in the top 12 of the BCS standings? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I have not even fielded that question. I mean, I, I'm asked all the time. I, I, our kids and what we've done and the reason we are where we are is because we don't think past Washington. And... Uh, uh, you asked me that question on next Tuesday. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you about how I felt. But, uh, but we, we are uh, staying very plugged in into what we're doing. 
and we realized uh, we realized that when we got to 8-0, I told the team that this is like NFL playoff time. You lose and you're out. And we had to win the next four to get to the Super Bowl. And the kids have bought, bought into it. They believed. And we just keep uh, inching along one by one. I was just about to ask you, June, how you keep a bunch of kids focused. There you are in the middle of paradise with all kinds of distractions, and that's sort of something that coaches talk about a lot. Well, if you're if you're in Hawaii, you have to deal with the beach and all that. And I think it's remarkable that you get that kind of focus. But do you give credit to the thinking, making the analogy of the playoff system of the NFL? Is that part of the magic of what you've been able to do? Well, I, I think it is, and I also think we have a very, uh, you know, we we have a, a very uh, spiritual team. Uh, we come from all walks. We have kids from Tonga. We have kids from, from America, Samoa, from, from Long Beach, from Dallas, uh, from Hawaii. And uh, these, kids, these kids are really connected. And all the intangible things that you talk about as a coach, we are. And I think some of that comes from, from really uh, uh, having a real strong uh, spiritual faith in, 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 in God. And I think that the culture part of what we do, I know you guys have talked and seen us, uh, do our haka, which is a cultural, spiritual thing. Uh, I think it's a connecting deal, and it, and it really it connects a melting pot of all different kinds of people from really all over the world playing this great game of football. Well, Coach, I know you uh, you still have practice ahead of you today, so we're going to let you go. We really appreciate you stopping by and talking about the upcoming game. All right, I appreciate it, guys. Aloha. That is June Jones of the undefeated Hawaii Warriors. You can see them tomorrow, 11.45 p.m. Eastern time, as they take on the Washington Huskies on ESPN2, trying to run the table in the regular season. I don't care where you are. I don't care what advantages you may have, the schedule or what have you. It's almost impossible to go undefeated in this day and age, and they got a chance to do it.